All right, here we are for some more Tower of God, and I mean, I need to clear my throat. Brilliant. Oh, uh, but anyway, before we get into that, um, well, but not clearing my throat, but reading the um, how many chapters I do today. If you're new, consider hitting the sub button. I'd really appreciate it. Maybe leave a like, comment, notification bell if you want to step to step with everything I'm putting out. That quite a bit. So yeah, really appreciate it. if we could hit 500 before the end of the year. That would be really sick. We've recently broken 400. But I'd like to see if it's possible to get all the way to 500. For that first step toward monetization. Not that I'd have anything to offer, but you know, by the end of the year. Anyway, let's get into Tower of God, shall we? Picking up from where we were last time with Caladon kicking the shit out of um the two Lopa beers. <clears throat> the second floor. Wapgate three. Who's saying that? I assume it's... Yeah, it's going to be... Like Warwick. Bravo! Just incredible. Just incredible. Even demoted, you're still the Carlevan who earned the position of Army Corps Commander with your fighting ability alone. Well, obviously, no shit. His position didn't give him strength. Why don't you join the Army Corps again? We have a lot of work ahead of us. If you come back to the Army Corps... <coughs> <coughs> ah, God. If you come back to the Army Corps, I'll appoint you as a division commander. Once you do, I'll give your division full authority to carry out missions on its own. What do you say? This is a pretty good offer. You're not thinking of betraying Lord Jihad, are you? I refuse. Lord Jihad is the only one I owe my loyalty to. And I don't intend to leave the Army Corps either. But I can't just stand by and watch a commander who is willing to throw away the lives of his subordinates for his own gains. Sitting in a seat he doesn't deserve. You're not worthy of respect as a soldier. Is that so? You will ruin this unit one day. How unfortunate. The army always needs talented people. It's a shame to lose a great player like you. That makes two of us. Want that the Queen Spear Bearer tactics? That's a throwing type. Is he a lightning spear bearer? Well, he's a coon. Oh shit, it can fucking move! That's sick. It's coming back. Just punch it. Fuck it. Just punch it, Caliban. It keeps coming at me. It's moving and reacting fast. It's not fast enough to intimidate me. But in this kind of small space, it's pretty annoying. He, he grabbed it? It's kind of cool. <laughs> That's it. Don't think you can take me down with this inductive javelin of yours. Well, that's anticlimactic. Your aim is terrible. My aim's never been that great. Well, you know, he's not a spear bearer. Probably a scout, if anything. I doubt he's a fisherman. He's most like, um, yeah, he's most likely a scout, though. I'd say. I didn't expect to hit you anyway. My talent is actually crushing things. What a reckless attack! Company Commander Calavan, you must have underestimated me badly. Did you think that I earned my place as Army Corps Commander by pulling strings when I was incompetent? Sorry to break it to you, but you're wrong. I made my way up here. <clears throat> Through skill alone. Yo, his chin stretching, bruh. He really be a mouth breather. I don't know what's I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying shit, bruh. <laughs> God. <clears throat> you will soon regret barging in here so confidently. Ugh. Ugh. Company Commander Calavan, 
You think it's just a fluke that I took your place, don't you? A low-ranking guy came out of nowhere and suddenly became an army corps commander. You probably think I pulled some strings or butted up one of the high-ups, right? That's why you came in here with such confidence, even after losing an arm and being exhausted. But you're wrong. I did not get this far. By luck or by accident. The reason my rank is low is because I've been hiding in the shadows, doing all the army's dirty work. I'm fully qualified. For this position. Kalavan! Kalavan! Whoa. Our army cool commander is damn strong. I love that she's now concerned about Kalavan, not fucking Leboric. <clears throat> Your spear. It's not a lightning spear after all. You don't make a spear from electricity. You pull out a weapon and instantly inject electricity into it. It was just an imitation of a lightning spear. Are you saying my spear is weaker than a lightning spear? No. I only have little data on you, but I am. Sh but I'm sure you're stronger than most lightning spear bearers. You're not even a natural lightning spear bearer. But with your electrical attribute alone, you developed a skill that is as strong as a lightning spear. You're right. I underestimated you. The arm's going fucking crazy right now. I apologize for that. Hey, Company Commander Calavan. What do you think you're doing? I won't go easy on you and just just because you apologized. You don't have to go easy on me. I came here to avenge my subordinates. Fact. I feel relieved now I've confirmed my opponent is strong enough to deserve respect. The dead ones wouldn't want this revenge to be easy either. I'll crush you with all my might! I told you not to underestimate me. Bombside. Inside the huge suspendium. So this is... The inside of the huge suspendium. There seems to be nothing but the suspendium, though. But Princess Marshall told us to find something here. Maybe it's... down there? It better be, honestly. I'm more curious about how we can get out of here than what's in this place. Someone's here. You definitely seem... What? Qualified. It feels like... Come, you can accept me. I will lend you my power. Someone is calling me. Let's take revenge on Lopo Bia. Bomb? What's the matter? You're staring at an empty space. Um, Kroon, I think I hear a voice from down there. Huh? A voice? Is this fucking... Oh God. Someone's there? You're scaring me now. There they are. Ah. That person. I saw him in the teleport ship earlier. He must... He must be an enemy! Damn it. This is a nuisance. Well, the main army will get us out of here when they arrive. But for that, we should take them down. Father? All right. Run! Okay. This brat. I can tell that his power is no joke. Notice how the orb's black now. It's staying black after the encounter with white, I imagine. They're unscathed. Coon, you can fly? Yeah, somehow. I can fly too! Rock, 
You too? I love that Huarian's just using Rock as a fuck. Bro, that's so cool. I love Huarian. Look at her. The, look at the, like, fucking signature- The signature look of superiority Huarian has right here. I underestimated him. That kid is strong. He's not just some regular that beats Rankers. Ugh. Let's go after them. Gah. Ah. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I, I, I'm sorry. I hate to do this, but I can't fly. Aren't you a ranker? How'd you make the ship go if you can't even fly? My apologies. Ah, the irregular. Where did they go? Damn it. We lost them. We'll do at least two. Yeah, I haven't done multiple chapters in a while, so... Also, doing multiple chapters helps me catch up. Yeah, obviously only doing one a week means I will literally never catch up unless there's like a massive hiatus again. But, you know. God, oh, it's, yeah, I'm just waiting for the page to load, you know, as you do. Uh, God. Sure, it's taking its fucking sweet time to load. So, uh, how is everyone? <clears throat> how you all doing? Let me know in the comments. I hope you're having a wonderful day. As this is up, I'm most likely at work. Um, on the grind, you know. I was gonna say the 9-5, but I, I'm not actually on the 9-5 on, uh, on Monday, so. Ah, uh, I'm not. Bro, how long is this page gonna take to fully load? Like, it's still just spitting in the top. I know my Wi Fi is dog shit, but, like, come on. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Let's get this panel in. Ah, oh, it's this abomination. There we are. Right, it's loaded. Right, it's this abomination again. Evan Cal! Yeah, let's have love sounds. 52nd floor, warp gate 4. Um, she's always scary. Damn it, this won't do! I don't know why those monsters are coming through the gate, but if the enemy keeps coming like this, everyone in the cat tower will be wiped out. I can't let that happen. Use the blue shield. Yes, it's working. Just a little more. Once my hands are freed. I can hear you, you know. And that buzzing sound. Yeah! I can't see anything through these spider webs. My arms are completely bound, too. I can only move my legs. My legs? Why didn't I think of that earlier? Huh? Uh. That fatty controlled Shinsu with just his feet and cut the pillar. Haha! <laughs> I'm free! Of oh, that practice of the blue shield is paying off. Huh? What's that? That's obviously the panel that opens the prison! I'm amazed by how fast this play this the pace of the plot is! I can free the hostages! Where do you think you're going? Damn it! He followed me! Ah! Whoa! Yeah! Don't pretend to be fast when you're just a pig. A pig is a pig is still a pig. The release point is hidden in the arm. Deception! Ah! I can't see that fat bastard. Nice. Opening this will release the hostages. I'm sure they'll help stop the enemies. Hmm. So many buttons. Which one opens the prison door? Just pull the lever. Just firm it and pull the lever. Eh, whatever. I'll just go with the biggest one. That's not a button. Uh. What? Whoosh. Yeah, fuck it. What's going on? The prison doors. They're open. The prison. What happened? The prison opened. We're finally free! Freedom! It worked! The prison opened! I used to voice... Really early on, I voiced the fucking... Canines as being British. 
And then I just fucking... Well, I mean, technically, well, it was kind of rush, but not really. Look how fast the pace of the plot is! You seem to emphasize that a lot. Also, this motherfucker can, like, hear his thoughts. <laughs> Damn it. It's all time to celebrate. Hey, there's a battle going on. Look over there. Where'd all those soldiers come from? I thought we heard a lot of noise, but this is way too many. Everyone! Those soldiers are Jihad's army! They're on the same side as those who locked you up! You must fight against them in order to get out of here! Please, help me destroy the gate! Ah, that fatty. Crap, what do we do? Are you scared? What choice do we have in this situation? We have to fight if we want to survive. Let's fight. <laughs> Flash. Flash. I've forgotten how I voice so many characters. It's unreal. Even Evan killed, bro. Those uneducated mutts. How dare they rush out and get in our way. I should clean this place up. Ah! Ah, she's formidable. What do I do? It's just impossible to take that monster down without this many people. <laughs> huh? Evan Kell! Evan Kell, how are you still alive? You morons. Do you think a hole in the stomach could kill me? Even a gunshot to the head can't stop me. Evan Kell, I knew you'd be alive. Sort of. <laughs> I pretended to be knocked down for this very moment, so I could come back like this and catch you all off guard. S stop lying. You did get knocked down by my mom. Yeah, that's going a bit too far. I understand that you're embarrassed, but don't tell such a lie. Shut up. It's true if I say it is. Anyway, the gate. No! Will be closed for good. Got oh, a sick panel. Lopa Beer's battleship. Stalin, you've been selected for the family leader's guard, as you wished. Why are you still complaining? I'm not complaining about you and me being selected. Branch leader Lopa Beer Perseus, alias White Stallion. Then what's the problem? You know what it is. The problem is that Holin, a branch leader candidate, was accepted too. He's a hatchling. I can't understand why him. I can't understand him participating in a battle, but him being selected for the family's leader guard, family leader's guard, is another matter. It's important for the young generation to gain experience. You think guarding the family leader is a job for gaining experience, huh? How many branch leaders do you think have seen the family leader's face? The two of us are, are the spider. You, the two of us and the spider are considered the strongest of the branch leaders. And the two who will remain here have power who can't dare to challenge. We can't dare to challenge. They're the one, only ones, who can, f who can fill in for the family leader in time of war. I understand that. But what I can't, what I can't understand is why the hatchling kid has to be included in the guard. Holand is the leader of the Hatchlings. He is qualified to be the leader of a new generation. We don't need a new generation. We are fine as we are. They have decided to wage a war. Now that they've made, made this decision, we have to put our lives on the line as well. Not, no one knows how many branch leaders will die in the coming war. We've already heard news that the branch leader died in the battle on the other side. The transition to a new generation is inevitable. Lopo <coughs> Branch leader Lopa Beer Perdidi. Perdid. Perdid? Perdid. Alias Bigfoot Owl. Just accept it. Gate one of the nest has been destroyed. Connections to the battleship lost. The gate is destroyed? <laughs> yeah, I haven't killed cooked it. <laughs> Don't you dare try to come over. Just stay stuck in there. Alright, I think that, uh, we'll leave it there. It's two chapters. I'll try and stick to two going forward for at least a little bit if I can. But anyway, without the way, I've been Animosity, you've been you, and I hope to catch you all next time for another video.
Ta-ta-ta. For now.